Thank you for joining us today. My name is Mark Bloomfield and in this video we're going to show you another sharpening technique that you can use on your images. Uh, this is uh, what we call edge sharpening and it's particularly useful if you've got pictures of flowers or anything with very sharp edges. The example I've got um, to use today is a chicory flower and when I took the picture, I wanted just to highlight the chicory flower itself and not the background. So I've used quite a wide aperture and that's produced this blurred background effect. Now, when I come to sharpen this image, what I don't want to do is I don't want to to uh, decrease the amount of blurring that's in the background by sharpening it. What I want to do is to only sharpen this flower, the stamens and the petals here. And to do that, I'm going to use this uh, edge sharpening technique. And what that will do is it'll sharpen just these edges along here and also the edges of the stamens uh, in the center. And it'll leave this blurred background still blurred and uh, apply no sharpening to it. So we're going to use a smart filters again and to do that I need to uh, make a copy of the background layer which to do by pressing Ctrl J and I'm going to change the layer name to sharpening. Uh, what that means is that if we save this and then reopen in it I know that that layer is uh, co controlling the amount of sharpening that the image has got. Now I'm going to convert that layer to a smart object by going layer smart objects convert to smart object and you can see it's changed to a smart object by this little uh, corner bit in the icon and now it's converted to a, a smart object I can now apply the filter so if I click on filter and I want other and I want to select the high pass filter the high pass filter allows us, uh, it just highlights all the edges and it's controlled by the radius and the pixels. This is set at 5 at the moment. Normally the default is around 4 and I would say that in most normal cases you'll be using somewhere between 3 and 5 pixels. Um, any more and what starts to happen is, is the edges get so wide that the original pixels, uh, the original picture, sorry, starts to come through from behind. So I'm going to start off and I'm going to start off at three. And as you can see, as you move the slider up and down, it narrows or increases the size of these black lines on the grey background. And where these lines are, that's where the sharpening is going to be applied. So if I now click OK, that will apply the high pass filter. And all we can see at the moment is this sort of very light grey with a slight outline of the flower there. What I need to do is, is I need to make this light grey uh, disappear and show the image back from the background layer in through it. To do that, what I need to do is to change the blending mode. And I'm going to change it from normal to hard light. And effectively, wherever it was uh, that light grey colour, it's now passing through the filter and it's looking at the background. We've still got the black edges there and if I zoom in you will see that the increase that those black edges have caused, the contrast, has actually sharpened the image or made the image appear sharper. If I turn the layer on and off you should be able to see the increase in sharpening. Because it's a high pass filter it's now possible for me to double click it and to increase it and to put it to 5. Now because the filter is applied you can actually see as I move the slider the amount of sharpening increases and decreases. So that's one way that you can change the amount of sharpening that's being added or subtracted to your image. So we set that to 5, click OK. The other technique to change the amount of sharpening is to use the opacity of the layer. If you change the opacity of this sharpening layer, uh, turn it, turn the sharpening off, that's effectively no sharpening, 100% is full on. You can select any value in between and that will affect the amount of sharpening that you've got going to put that at about 70% and that effectively has sharpened 
this central these the stamens in the center and the petals round the outside but will have left the rest of the image unsharpened so if i turn the layer on and off you'll be able to see hopefully that the effect is just on this flower here and the background has remained out of focus which is what i wanted for this particular image Technique works very well with anything with sharp edges, buildings. Um, you can even use it on uh, portraits for sharpening the eyes and face. And being on a layer, you can actually add a layer mask and mask areas out that you, if it does affect something that you don't want. So it's a great technique for using. So we use it a lot on flowers where we want just the flower to, to be sharpened and not the background. And I hope you found it a useful technique and I hope you go and try it and we'll see you soon with some more training. Thank you for listening.